Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, at a recent football match in Sheffield and Hallamshire's Women's Football League, a young woman was seriously injured following a collision with a male player, a trans woman, on the opposing team. And now has been well publicised in the national media, a number of other teams in this local women's league have withdrawn from fixtures against this particular team out of concern for the safety of their players. Mm. Now, unlike other sporting associations, the FA has not yet acted to ban biological males from playing in women's football, which is threatening the safety and the fairness of the women's game at a time when its popularity is rightly rising. So would my right honourable friend give time for a debate on women's football and the role of the FA in ensuring the safety of female players? Um, well, I thank uh, my honourable friend uh, for this question. And actually, when I was Minister for Women and Qualities, I did raise this uh, with DCMS, in part because um, FIFA's own rules don't allow um, uh, 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 men and women, uh, biological men and women, on the, on the same pitch together. Um, the FA has different rules for uh, different levels and categories of the game. I know uh, that there are um, local uh, teams here who have uh, trans women uh, playing uh, on them that are, that are very valued. So I think it depends on the level uh, of the game. That's certainly uh, the response that uh, I received at the time uh, from uh, such sporting bodies. Um, but this is receiving uh, new focus and clearly uh, the constituents she mentions are concerned about this matter. I would urge her to raise it both with the Equalities Minister but also uh, at uh, CMS questions which is on the 11th of January. 